Tandem Life provides a wide range of cannulas to meet virtually all of your percutaneous support needs. For example, if left heart support is needed, the next step of the process is insertion of the transeptal and arterial cannulas. Using the modified Seldinger technique, gain arterial access in the femoral artery of choice. Serial dilate appropriately prior to placing the arterial cannula in the patient's femoral artery. Remove the wire and introducer and clamp the cannula. Use a standard transeptal puncture technique to gain access into the left atrium from the femoral vein. Introduce the guide wire through the needle and into the left atrium. Then remove the transeptal needle and mullen sheath. Administer heparin to raise the ACT level over 400 seconds. Advance the two-stage dilator over the guide wire until the largest diameter section enters the left atrium. Then remove the dilator. Insert the introducer cannula assembly over the guide wire into the left atrium. Confirm the position of the tip of the transeptal cannula inside the left atrium using pressure transducing, blood gas analysis, and echocardiography. Confirm that adequate volume exists in the left atrium via pressure transducer. Next, remove the guide wire and introducer until they are beyond the clamp area of the cannula. Then, leaving the hemostasis valve in place temporarily to control blood loss, clamp the cannula in the clamp area and remove the obturator, wire, and hemostasis valve from the cannula. Note the transeptal and arterial cannulae depth markings. Secure both cannulas to the patient's leg by suturing it to the suture wings provided on the cannulae. Pump connection to the cannulas can now be performed. Connect the pump outflow tubing, marked with the red stripe, to the arterial cannula using a wet-to-wet -wet connection. Once you have confirmed that all of the air has been purged, insert the tubing over the second barb of the tubing connector. Connect the pump inflow tubing, marked with a blue stripe, to the transeptal cannula using a wet-to-wet -wet connection. Once again, inspect the pump and tubings for air. Turn on the pump, which will start at 5,500 RPMs. Check for air bubbles. If the tubing and pump are air-free, slowly release the clamp on the outflow cannula. Gradually increase the speed of the pump until the desired level of flow is achieved. When appropriate, remove the sterile drapes from the cannulae insertion sites. Secure the pump or pump and oxygenator using the appropriate holster. For tandem heart and tandem life procedures, use the holster provided along with the neoprene thigh wrap for device securement. For more information, contact your local Tandem Life representative. Tandem Life, empowering your program to deliver breakthrough performance in extracorporeal support.